Hello everybody, welcome back. I told you I was going to do snippet after snippet for those of you that don't have a long attention span. Hey, I don't blame you. I blame I blame the computers and they didn't kind of tell us how to do. I say that as a collective whole. Dr. Trent taking you to the next level once again. Devoness Divine. That's my intergalactic name, baby. Like I said, that's the name that everybody knows me by. Dr. Trent, that's kind of like my third dimension name. I don't even really go by that. So, <clears throat> I'm stopping by today. We talked about, first of all, that it's about you, not the virus. I understand um, things are happening with people. Things are going on. But you're not way over in China. The only thing that you could do is send out prayers, send out love, send out positive energy. And... You know, we're hoping everybody makes it, but we know everybody's not going to make it. Unfortunately, that's the sad truth. So I'm going to talk about first five things that you need to start doing and stop running around here scared, running around here talking about the news all the time and not living your best life, being the best version of yourself. Five things. So first of all, I want to say thank you for coming back. Like, subscribe and share. And hit the little bell for notification because I'm going to be loading up some stuff. We're, this is starting off slow, but we're going to touch on some deep stuff. I'm going to talk about a lot of things. Like I said, 2019, 2018 going into 2019, I started off with some videos. I erased those because I did a lot of meditation. I stayed off of social media for quite a bit because I knew that I was coming with this. So five things I got them written down <clears throat> that you need to start doing and that you need to realize. Oh, let me let me add that in there. What you need to realize. Number one, okay. Like we talked about in the first video, uh, I'm gonna add it into this. Fear. We need to stop fearing and we need to stop feeling sorry for ourselves. There is an ego that gets you every time. A lot of times people, um, egos take many forms. And <clears throat> a lot of times people think, oh, he's pompous. He's, a, he's an ass. He's a dick. Okay. So, or she's a, a this or that. Um, and they think that that's the, the one part of the ego. But another part of the ego is the whole feeling sorry for yourself. That's an ego too. I had a friend like that every time, and, and I would be right there with her every time we turn around. Oh, poor me, poor me, poor me. It shouldn't be that way. Number one, you have to stop feeling sorry for yourself and not be afraid because you have to realize who you are. It is time for y'all to start going within. It is 2020, and the powers that be, whether they be the government, whether it's the spiritual realm, whoever it may be, okay? Maybe it's some underground people doing some stuff. We don't know. But whatever is going on, we don't need to feel sorry for ourselves. We don't need to, to have fear or lock ourselves in. It's time for us to be bold and walk in our power and step out more than ever. You know, and we're going to touch base on that. Number two, you need to understand um, no matter what situation that you're in in life, that currency is not your identity. Now, the people that don't know no better, you know, the ones that walk around pompous with those egos, they feel like they've arrived because they, they might have a couple of million dollars in a bank account. And you might look at your bank account and be like, oh, okay, I got, z I got zero or I got 10 bucks, uh, just enough to go get me some lunch tomorrow, maybe $5 worth of gas. Oh, wow. You know, I have failed. But that's so far from true. You are not your currency. You came to this planet, okay, planet Earth, with a mission. Everybody has a gift that they're supposed to present on this Earth, whether it's singing, whether it's rapping, dancing, inventing something, help healing people, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, you need to stop feeling um, sorry for yourself, and you need to understand that currency is not your identity when you discover who you really are and you start meditating because we're going to have that too we're going to start doing some meditations 
um, and you start meditating and you start going within, you're going to discover some very awesome things. Now, I know that some of you watching me don't hear that right now, but it's coming. Just walk with me. We're going to go there. And I'm, you're going to walk on in, into that light of your destiny. Um, so number three, you need to detox yourself. Um, as in detox yourself from um, stuff that's not good for you. Detox yourself from negative friends. People that are always, every time you talk to them, what are they saying? A wonk, wonk, wonk. Or people who are always talking about their idols over in Hollywood or what they're doing. That lets you know that they're not on their path because they're too busy caught up with this person's Instagram seeing how they took pictures on the steps with their kids. Don't get me wrong, it's all cute and everything, but this is 2020. We're in a whole different type of ball game. This is what you all need to understand. Never understand. My bad. I have to catch myself sometimes too. So you got to detox yourself from the daily news. You need to know that currency isn't your identity. You need to stop feeling sorry for yourself and feeling scared. And you, once you go within and once you start all this, you're gonna number five. You're gonna under, you're gonna understand what your destiny is. You know, I've talked to people who've worked at jobs for eight, ten, twenty years. And they'll tell me something like, well, I play the saxophone. And I'll be like, wow, you never went into it. They'll be like, well, you know, work got in the way, I stopped. That's not the way that's supposed to go. If you have a talent, if you have a gift, even if you have to work a job to keep currency flowing, to, to move the way that you need to move, to, to get, you know, to basically live, pay to live, okay? Still work on what it is that you, the love of what you have in your heart. Don't give it up. There's so many people that gave up on their dreams and their, and their destinies. And these people could have really helped other people. But they end up getting stuck in a wheel like a little hamster just making the corporate people rich. So you need to detox yourself detox yourself from negative people detox yourself from the news stop feeling sorry for yourself find out what your destiny is and we're gonna go into other things but I just wanted to make those quick comments because I got a lot of video work to do today y'all and once again thank you for stopping by the channel Dr. Trent taking you to the next level Devin is divine. That's my intergalactic name. Subscribe, like, and share. I love you and peace.